So people, I am back with yet another video and today we're going to check out a teaser trailer for a game you've probably saw the teaser trailer for. Uh, but we're going to then get into information what we know about this game so far. The game is Starfield. Looks, well, it looks promising. But it's from Bethesda. It created a Fallout 76, which was an utter disappointment in my opinion. I'm hoping they can deliver with this. But we will see, we will see. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So we'll first check out the teaser trailer together. This was released June, July last year. And it's literally the only trailer we've had so far. The game comes out late this year. Like I said, it's the first Bethesda Studios game under microsoft so i'm hoping it delivers but we will see so let's just uh let me just switch my scene and my obs and there we have it people can you see that ship okay so first play two minutes let's watch the ship and then get into all the dt tauos in game footage alpha creation engine 2 Award winning creators, a brand new universe, 25 years in the making. They say. The wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast. Gun looks beastly, sandwich looks nice. That a bit of corn, beef and cheese I can see on there. Now. Part of our family. What you found, it's the key to unlocking everything. You can teleport to us, huh? This is all we do. Captured in game, people. Looking beautiful. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Prepare for departure. Graviton loop array full check. Your space lane is clear. That's why we're here. May engines go. Take To discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for launch. And that is it. And that is it, Starfield people. Starfield people. Join Constellation at StarfieldGame.com. If you guys want to go ahead and do that, you can do that. Shit. Okay, so let's go back to full screen. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Yes, you can. Play it day one on Xbox Game Pass. Okay, so I've got a few few notes i've got on my pc screen which i will minimize this so we can get them up so we can see what we're talking about here okay okay put that here so uh starfield is the first new universe in 25 years from bethesda game studios the award-winning creators of the elder scrolls skyrim fallout 4 in the next generation role-playing game set amongst the stars create any character you want and explore with unparalleled freedom as you embark on an epic journey to answer humanity's greatest mystery, which is no doubt, are we alone? Now, when I first saw this, I was getting true No Man's Sky feels about it. And I mean, No Man's Sky now not released in a shocking state, but it's actually a pretty incredible game right now. Now, I don't think this is that kind of unlimited universes or unlimited generated planets as No Man's Sky is, I think this is set in stone places and destinations you can go to, which seems pretty cool. Now, I'm hoping it's a lot like Skyrim or Fallout 4 with the space exploration edition. That would be utterly amazing. Like I said, this is the first game 
Bethesda Studios, I believe, will release under being owned by Microsoft. So I'm hoping Microsoft have got that finger on the head, making sure that shit is done perfecto. But we will see, we will see. Now, it releases exclusively to the Series S and X, Xbox that is. It's available on day one Game Pass, as I said. And it is on PC as well, which obviously Game Pass. Beautiful, beautiful. Why not? Why not, people? Unfortunately, PlayStation users won't be able to play. Now, I do believe the very, very first time we've seen this, there may have been an inkling that it may have been released on next gen, more sort of PS5, but that ain't true, no. That ain't true, no more, people. That ain't true, no more. Now, we know it's set 300 years in the future, so there's going to be some advanced technology here for sure. But obviously, if you explore in space, then you know, some good shit's here. Now, you play the role of a new recruit to the last of the space explorer groups known as Constellation, as we saw in the, the gameplay trailer. Well, game, gameplay trailer, I wish, the trailer. Now, we do know a few details on gameplay due to the devs answering a few questions here and there. You will have a full character customization feature, as you would imagine. You can even customize your character's background, which is said could impact the way the game plays out for you. Now we know with Cyberpunk, this was said to do the same kind of thing, but eh, eh, eh. So when I see game developers or uh, publishers say things like this, I ain't too optimistic about it. I mean, yes, creating a character's all good and dandy, you'd expect that in a game like this, a game this size, but customizing your background and having that impact to the game you play going forward, I mean, it's a bit of an iffy one, in my opinion, in regards to getting excited about it because what we've experienced in the past with other games. But hopefully they get it right. So the sky and the space is said to have great in-depth, large-scale storytelling, which seems and sounds quite cool. Also, many, many goals for you to achieve, but also that minute-to-minute -minute action, which will also feel rewarding, which is what we like to hear. Now, like I said, it gave me the No Man's Sky feels about it, but this game is said to be not like No Man's Sky at all in terms of there's going to be no generated planets, there's going to be set destinations, set places to visit, cities, etc, etc. Something no doubt they will add to in the future. We know how they roll at Bethesda Studios. Now, you'll also have your own main ship, which no doubt you can upgrade. This will be used as your main hub obviously used to travel to other destinations that's what ships are for you'll also be playing this game in first and third person but mainly first person which isn't a bad thing it's also said that there'll be different factions for you to join within this game you should know that tied to individual planets i mean we know the way destiny work well old school destiny new destiny they forgot about those factions people those factions just disappeared well, in Destiny 1 days, you had New Monarchy, you had Future War Court and Dead Orbit. Them kind of sort of factions is what we kind of like doing, working and progressing them. No doubt within Starfield, we may have factions tied to different planets, which is always a good thing. There will also be a space pirate faction called the Crimson Fleet. Sounds pretty badass. These will be constantly trying to take your ass down. And no doubt there'll be many more too. And yes guys, alien races have been confirmed to be in the game. But how in which we encounter them, we do not know yet. They haven't dropped any details on this as of right now. You will also have your very own companion. That robot you saw in the trailer, you'll see that on the screen now. The one marching up to your ship, getting inside of your ship. That is your companion, pretty badass. And his name guys is Vasco. But yes, that's what we know about Starfield so far. It releases on the 11th of November 2022, but it's early days yet. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's too early to book time off work, but we know in which way games can get delayed even further. It's happened so many times over the past few years. How many games that we look forward to have been delayed? It's just ridiculous. And when we start seeing those delays, I mean, me, I'm not sure about you guys, but I start to worry because I think I mean, Outriders was delayed, Cyberpunk was delayed, but yet they're still released in a pretty bad state. So yes, once we start seeing delays, yeah, ain't a good thing. But hopefully, guys, I can get this done and ready for the 11th of the 11th, 2022, which is obviously later this year. But we will see, guys. We will see. But there we have it, people. Starfield, exclusive to Xbox and PC, next gen. I cannot wait for 
If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. Right, let me know your thoughts on this down below, and hopefully, I will see you on that next one.